What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another the another cube of the vintage variety. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm saying? Do you understand? Do you understand the words that I'm saying? How do we make this bigger again? Where's the slider? I like to make it as big as possible without missing something. Yeah, some people like doing it so like there's a card on the bottom line. Not me, bucko. Not me. I want to see all these cards. Cityscape Leveler. What a fascinating gentleman. When are you cast this spell? So they want you to cast it. And I'm like, why? Well, I don't want to do that. Do we just necromancy here? Jockle hops. Have the, put the old jockle hops in, man. This is not jockle hops to me. I want that, that OG hops. It is also when it attacks, I guess. So you just don't get the initial trigger. I want to take the necromancy. Is that how you guys say it? Necromancy? That's what people say, right? Oh, God. I'm trying to get this chair. Ugh, got stuck on a little, a little carpet area. You guys know how carpets work. You, you, you know. I do like a Dak Faden. I also like uh, the evening sky. <laughs> yeah, I say it like that. <laughs> I like a primeval titan. I like a lot of things, you know. I'm, uh... Dak lets you discard for necromancy. I've heard of carpet. You know, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. You guys have really come a long way. Since the last time I was here, you know. <laughs> Samson, thank you so much for, for saying so, buddy. I'm like, I think the camera might be tilted a little bit. I feel like I'm like, I feel like I should be like this, but I'm kind of like this. Like I'm falling over. I wonder if that's a thing I could fix. I'm not sure. I'll look into it. I like a Woodfall Primus if we're reanimating. He's one of my favorite reanimation targets. That's my favorite reanimation target. Um, I think there was a suspicious stowaway in there too, which I really like for uh, this kind of deck. Although now they're going to give us this Rafelos. And I'm real tempted to just toss these guys in the trash because, God, I love a good Rafelos. Listens, her hearts have a single number of cards exiled with it. How do you... That seems, like, hard to track. <sighs> My girlfriend says white hair looks better on you than on Kibler. <laughs> I will not tell him that. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this guy. I think it's the best card in the pack. If you cast it. Again, they love they love limiting us, you know? They're like, if you cast it, you can get it. I'm like, I don't want to cast it. I just wanna I just wanna put it into play and still get the benefit. Is that not is that not cool? Green Sun gets Rafelos. It also gets Woodfall later in the game. Thank you. Oh my God, Nick with the ten gifted subs. Oh my God, Nick. Nick started working at a bank recently. Thank I heard you. like this year, and I think it's really. God, he's really just rubbing it in our faces, you know. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate you. I love you, my dude. I'm glad you're one of my one of my best. Thank you. Oh my god, why do you just leave? Why you always you always just do a generous thing and then you leave? All right, I'll see you later, bud. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'll take progenitus, I guess. If we're like if we turn into like some kind of natural or nonsense. Thank you. See, God doesn't need money necessarily, but he just might still have it. Thank yeah. you. I'm going to take Thank Kogla. You. I feel like we're really, I feel like they're really pushing us here into the. Thank you. They're really pushing us. 
All right, I'm going to put these guys over here for now because. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. I think that was the last one. All right, I got a couple things I want to fix stream wise. Um, let's go notes. Fix on stream. Let's go. We got to fix the memes. Fix the sound files. Timeless Lotus. Again. Could be decent in this deck, though. Una's Prowler is a discard outlet if we did want to go this route. Did he escape leveler? Okay. All right. I'm going to lean heavy. I'm going to I'm going to lean into it. What is this one? Black and green and blue. That's two of our three, sure. Um none of these are exciting. Sure. Uh Groxa. It's castable. I'm not going to Lion's Eye Diamond here. Kogla could still be a target to reanimate. Okay. So we're going to look at some Grixis reanimation nonsense. We can still get this guy back just because he won't activate on the, on the activation. Yeah, we'll take Green Sun just in case. <laughs> They're really dividing us here. Every other pick is either a mono green card or a, a card that could fit into like a Grixis reanimation deck. Pyretic Ritual. Sure. Okay. Anything here. Underground Sea. Seems very good. Um... God, this pack is actually pretty good. I have Custody Lich in my cube as well. I may have just recently taken it out, though, because I wasn't sure if it was good, and I replaced it with Shieldred. But now I'm like, maybe it's good if it's in here. I don't know. I think Underground Sea is probably better than Rakdos Signet. Sheldock Isle is also pretty good. Coercive Portal is also pretty good. God, this whole pack is pretty good. There's like four cards I want. Not Rakdos Signet. I think it's either Sheldock or Underground here. I think it might be Sheldock. It's, man, they're like, here, have a Water Grave instead. I'm going to take this Ulamog, though, because, I mean, we're trying to reanimate, right? We have Necromancy. Do we have any other random? Yeah, we're just taking Ulamog. Am I back into streaming full time? Um, I'm back into streaming regularly until until a new job opportunity presents itself. Let's take Baleful Strix. Um, Grave Titan. Grave Titan's probably better than Kogla because we can cast it, right? Oh, and then there's a Leovold, and we have a Zagoth Triumph already. So can't. Oh God, give me strength. It's either Leovold or him to Torok, which is very good. I'm going to have to take him to Torok. Like, if we can hit their cards and then reanimate their stuff, like, that's really all you want, right? That seems just fine. <laughs> Her to Torok. Them to Torok. Rubbing my little eye here. Oh, yes. Rub your eye. I'm glad I got the... Uh, I have dropped zero frames. That seems impossible. I don't understand. I also upped the, the output to... Is it 2K or 4K? Thank 
Thank you. Oh, pack rat. Oh, packles McRattles. Yeah, I'll take that guy. Again, discards, you know? Oh, channel. I got to take channel. We have Ulamog and City Reveler. City Leveler. Howard and Yegan, thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back to you, too. This deck's all over the place, but we got a lot of broken cards. Good grief. Oh, my God. What can I do with channel? Like, nothing, right? But we're not really getting reanimation cards. <sighs> Stomping Ground helps us cast channel. And we have Raging Arena, too. Interesting. What if all my lands just add green? What was the other thing I was thinking of taking in that pack? Um, vampiric, heck, Vampire Hex Mage, because I think we saw Dark Depths. But that might have been in pack one. So. Watch, it's going to be right now. It's going to be this pack. 14 plus 9 is 23, so that was, that was the eighth pack, right? So now this is going to be the first pack, and it's going to be Dark Depths in here. <laughs> or maybe within the next three packs. We'll see. We'll see. Also, it's like seeing some of the additions to Twitch, uh, since I'm not regularly streaming, like listen only mode, which is kind of cool. Like just being able to listen. That's kind of sweet, man. Like, because I think a lot of people put, put streams on in the background. It's just like something to have in the room or like someone to like, it's just, just noise, you know? Efka, what's up, buddy? Oh my God. Long time no see, sir. Dillon Mace, what up, buddy? Man, it's good seeing all you guys. God, it's wild. Lava Claw reaches. See, like, they're not giving us anything to reanimate here. I kind of like Blooming Marsh better. I want to be able to cast things on two. And this this is able to do that on turn one or turn two. Plus, it gives us that green. So does the Goth Triome. Okay. I'm, <laughs> we might just be channeling, dude. It's greedy, but God, can you imagine like the feel? <laughs> Don't. Why? Oh, God. Scooty Love, what up, buddy? Nice to see a familiar face. Man, I, moving can be lonely for sure. For sure. I will I will try to stream somewhat consistently, yeah. Um Braids. I think Braids is fine. I mean, no no. I got a severance package, but I I, I have to confirm that it was not multi million dollar. Uh sure. Not smokestack. No, never smokestack. Badger, you should know better. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Uh, char. We'll just take the char for like, yeah, whatever. No, these are good. Yeah. All right, this deck's really got to come together in this third pack. <laughs> Jason Mind Sculptor is pretty decent. Ugin is good with channel. So is Worm Coil Engine. Interesting. This deck is all over the place. And like, we only have one card that reanimates right now, but like we're trying to reanimate and we have a bunch of discard cards like Dak Faden, Packrat, Una's Prowler. I'm going to take the Jace because I'm not stupid. Or maybe that makes me stupid. I don't know, but I think one of the colorless cards might wheel. 
Takanuma, abandoned mine. Return a creature or Planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand. Well, if we return it to play, I'd be, be more fascinated with that. Is it just Miscalc? I guess Venser is fine here. Scrabble God is good reanimator. That's like, I, I, I agree with that. I don't love Ancient Tomb because we have a lot of colored requirements here. I'll just take the Venser. I think we're going to take reanimation above all. But I kind of like Demir Signet here. I don't know if I care about Time Warp here. I think I just want the Signet. Is it Signet? Is it? Look at this beautiful plateau art. It's like the 10th tenth, tenth plateau art that's ever existed. Could just be Huntmaster here. Could be Is it Signet? Nobody knows. I mean, we could just cut red and cut Dak and, and Croc. I could probably cutting Croc, up, But I think Dak is probably way too easy to splash. Thank you. This pack is just not exciting. Just take is it signet? It's got a blue source, which is nice because we have Jason Venser, so I don't know how we're gonna actually Gorgasmics, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Okay. Is something good here? Damnation's decent. Opposition's great, but we don't really have an opposition deck. Creeping tar pit, probably a little, a little too many tap lands. We have Triome, Sheldock, Raging, and I guess that's it. Hmm. I think it's probably Damnation. We don't have a ton of things that care about an early Damnation. Oh God, makeshift mannequin is rough, but it might be the the thing we need here. Yogmoss will. Fascinating. What do you do? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, it attacks X helps two cards from a graveyard. Sure, that's a 4-4 four, four for three with a nice ward. Whenever it enters the battlefield, it attacks up to up one card. Okay, so it just doubles the... That card actually seems pretty decent. Sure. Ooh, Kaito Shizuki. Draw a card, discard, unless you attack to create a ninja. Again, nothing to reanimate here, but... Decent Planeswalker. I mean, we could also easily cut the green. But I don't know what this deck does without the green. <laughs> Island Swamp Mountain. That's actually kind of perfect. Yeah, I think we're cutting the green. Like, we can keep Woodfall Promise to reanimate, but like... I think it just seems better without the green, right? I'm gonna take high tide just to be a hater. I like dig through time, especially when we're discarding a bunch of nonsense. Take him brush shield made. Uh, fire eyelid, sure. <sighs> this is, this is, this is, this is something. I guess we can add Braids and Crocs back, right? Yeah, that seems better. Hmm. Maybe this is fine. So what is this we're looking at? Um, we only need to reanimate like Woodfall, these three. But they can all easily be discarded. And then we have Makeshift Mannequin and Necromancy to reanimate. We have Jace, Dak Faden, Kaito. I don't hate this deck as much as I thought I would. Could take out the Marsh. Lands could be better, but I'm glad we took two on color signets. Could play Char. 
Hmm. This is certainly interesting. I think this is, I think we're just, I think this is not terrible. We're also very light red, which is nice with three red cards, but we have one, two, three. No. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Seems okay. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. That seems good too. Red, we have two, three, four, five. Add one more. Yeah, we'll add one more red, and that'll be the day. Three mountains is, is kind of iffy, but not terrible is honestly the best one can hope for in 2022. That's fair. And then we wait. All right. He said as to as to pass the time while we wait for this this match to start. Did you know in the French Republican calendar, every day was named after something important to rural French life? 28 December was the day of manure. That sounds right. They mulligan to six. Alexa, delete notification. Okay. Thanks. He's saying all right a lot. All right. Let's go island. Pack rat into graveyard trespasser. And we can, or we can go pack rat into discard cityscape leveler into makeshift mannequin. Which is going to yield better results. I see. You're going to play the same deck here, huh? Also, I got a bigger water bottle. This thing's 46 ounces. It takes me two minutes to fill it. It's unbelievable. Illusions donate GG. Well, well, well. I have all these cards in my deck. I don't have that in my deck. So I feel like we're going to die soon. That Reddick Ritual. Okay. I see what you're doing. I, I'm on to your tricks. Let's let's hit that Nar set, and then let's reanimate this fat daddy next turn. Just gonna have six here. 
I got nothing to do. Too many puppies. <laughs> Woodfall Primus. What sound do you think your avatar makes? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh. Rob loves asking what sounds things make. Okay, you played a lotus petal and a ritual. Got it. That one's gone. Are we going to time twister? And then I'm going to draw none. Tinker into what? What are you getting? Bolus's Shitadel. Okay. Well. Beer Trebs, I appreciate you saying so, buddy. You guys are you guys are pretty funny, so, you know. On some ranches in the United States, ranch use guard llamas instead of guard dogs. Hmm. No, I don't like that. I only have, they could put like, I guess they can put like, I mean, I don't know, like Time Twister doesn't do much because you can't cast the cards in your hand. You're just going to bolus the Citadel. So like, it's got to be something good. What's your storm count? Petal, Tinker, Ritual, Tutor. Oh, oh it doesn't matter because it's gone. That's hilarious though. Okay, well. But I have a handful of cards you can't cast. This is very weird. Lotus Bloom. Yep, all right, sure. And that's the end? Good grief. I was just attacking their face because I don't think I think them going to two with the bolus of Citadel is much worse. Plus, I don't really care if they play another like time spiral, time warp card because like I already have everything I need on the board. So now they can. Okay, and we got it. Did you know people with schizophrenia can tickle themselves? I did not know that. I think Eidolon might come in here. That would be interesting, right? I feel like Custody Lich is just is just gangbusters because you're never going to get the... Um, <laughs> the Monarch taken away from you. Take out Damnation. Yeah, that seems good. Anything else that we care about? Um, maybe it's not great though, because like they're never going to sacrifice a creature. So Char actually might just be better. Custardy Lich. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, that's comedy. I'm going to mulligan. Mm. Does this work? Does not great Bob work? No. Okay, we'll fix it. Keep. Send you back.
send you back. Done. Wait. Oh, they lost. I was like, wait, why do they get to go first? I forgot they lost. You know, sometimes you play against Storm and you just assume you're going to lose because, good lord, man. Forgot they lost. Oh man, the row. It wasn't even it wasn't even intentional. I was just like, alright, well, we lost against the storm deck. Just kidding. Oh god. What's happening here? I'm not too scared about much of this, I'll be honest with you. Oh. That's what friends are for. The discards. <laughs> This card random card, my little friend. You gonna counter this? So you discard one instead of two? Yeah, okay. Maybe. Something. Buddy. Buddy. Vampiric tutor. Sure. Here comes the time twister. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I hope they activate that to draw a card. That'd be super cool. A whole lot of nonsense going on. I woke up last night to find the ghost of Gloria Gaynor standing at the, the foot of my bed. At first I was afraid. Then I was petrified. <sighs> he kept thinking I could never sleep with this ghost by my side. Okay, sure. Can I just untap and gain control of that? Because that seems pretty cool, right? Oh no. What? Oh no. It got worse. This could still be interesting. I love my chat, man. You guys are like, if my chat was not this good, I, I would enjoy streaming significantly less, if at all. Pop is good with Citadel. That's for sure. That's for true. I can still steal it and start playing some, some stuff, right? Like, that seems good. What if there's like an Ulamog on the top? Oh my god. I'll pay 10 to play an Ulamog. Kill your deck. Kill the bullets of Citadel. No, just kill the deck, I guess. Uh, discard a card. Sure, you got it. Enjoy. Okie dokie. So I would have, okay, we would have drawn this card for the turn. Played deck. Can Necromancy get anything? No, not really. Can they have a mind twist in the graveyard? What is even happening? So we play deck, we steal this, we see Necromancy. I guess we could just play it for three, right? Go to 17. Go to 15. We play to land. So that would be the end of our turn, really. That was a weird concession, I'll be honest. But magic's a weird game, so, you know, what can you do? Ben Big Card, what up, buddy? Four Storm, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> oh, good, good gracious.
Yeah, they might have. They might have forgot they could just steal it back with Zach. I, I don't know what to. I don't know how to explain it. But like, I steal it. I get like a couple plays off of it, and then you get to then you get to steal it back. <clears throat> Doesn't seem terrible. <sighs> this hand seems rough, but you know what? No gamble, no future. I'm not even going to read that Badger comment. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Did they mulligan? They went to six. On the play. Brutal. Brutal. They can't win now, basically. Hmm. I'll take a him. I would have preferred an Ulmog, but, you know, what are you going to do? There was no necromancy there, though, so that's good. So that means the necromancy is still deep, deep in our deck. Or it could be right on top. Yeah, you know, you never know. Hmm. I kind of like that better, because it lets us play Venser into Custody Lich. That seems good. I still have a zero drop, not a single dropped frame. I don't know how to explain that. That's never happened before. So either it's incorrect or something was improved or fixed. I mean, Sheldock, I'll only hit him to Torok. Not super exciting. Jason Mind Sculptor. Better than all. Remember that jam? That was a throwback. Good. Very good. It's okay. I'm going to get it back. Guess who's Dak? Dak again. Our opponent's, opponent's name is Dental Plan. Lisa needs braces. Sure. They have one card in hand? Oh, that seems good for us. Oh, wow. Um, let's get a Woody, Woody and a Swamperson. I guess I should have saved this, but I kind of want to be the Monarch. I mean, the Monarch is just good. That's just good, clean fun. Oh, God, it's going to be a big fat dragon, isn't it? Oof. Big oofs. Two to Dak. Interesting. That's fascinating. Let's pop these bad boys out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, we cannot Venser or Grave Titan. What we can do is Necromancy Woodfall Primus, which seems pretty good.
Then we can get rid of the lounge. Play this, it gives us access to both Grave Titan and Venser next turn. So does that. This is fascinating. Do you kill the custody lich? The custody lich? Sure. Two and one? Yeah, you got it. This seems like a significantly good play for us. You got it. Tippity top. How big does a lounge have to be to qualify as a land? <laughs> Are you talking about a lounge the size of A's? It's, it's possible, yeah. Yeah. Feeling okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get still get we still we're still the monarch. And we have three blue, so now we can actually play Kaito and keep up. Do we want to draw or do we want a ninja? Probably want to draw, right? Yeah, draw. Obviously draw. A lot of lands here, but that's okay. Yeah, crack that thing for a swamp. Oh, just a blue. Oh, what's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. One, two, three. Venture that thing. Okay, <laughs> that's all they need to see. So we're gonna draw that for the turn. We're gonna draw with Kaito. We would have had a terrible hand. And then we draw that with the Monarch. Sure. Deck is doing surprisingly well for our significant amount of waffling in the, in the construction phase. I will keep. That's a good one. That's a good one. Good grief. Oh, come on, really? That's so sad. Two two drops underneath there. I guess I could cast neither of them without a black, so maybe that's better. Good. This is a good start. Oh, f yeah, we're gonna. Oh, God. I'm not. Create uh, copy. Yeah, you're just gonna be able to. Well, maybe not. That guy dies, I guess. I don't know. Is this great? Who knows? They haven't lost a flip yet, which is something. No blocks, as you can imagine. If 
fascinating. Pretty good. So we have a little mog and cityscape leveler in hand. Where's the sneak attack when you need it? Five mana. You can actually make a copy of the shaman token, make two to treasures. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Uh, what happened with the layoff? Uh, our project that we've been working on for two years at Scopely was put on hold and our whole team got laid off. So that was fun. Yeah, this seems uh, rough. We're gonna. I don't think there's anything we could draw here that would save us. Come on, something good. This seems great. Yeah, let's keep this. All right. Turn two Strix, turn three Signet, turn four Ulamog, does that work? I don't think so. Jason Line Sculpture. Still pretty good. I will accept your Dak Faden offering. Especially if they play an artifact. Give me a signet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Papa like. Um, blue, red. I can have this. Not going to attack here. Also, having a sweet discard like Ulamog for deck is nice. Oh, Grim Monolith, eh? Let me guess, you're going to activate it right now. We knew. We all knew. Oh, no! My whole board! Oh, that is... Oh, interesting. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that is unfortunate. We're going to do this. Play this guy. Play this guy. Get in there, bird. Hmm. Seems good. Ha <laughs> ha! Also seems good. Ha ha! Ha ha! He's on a little adventure. So we can we can play a land. 
I don't know if it's advantageous to do so, though. Like, we don't need seven mana. But it does get us closer to Ulamog if we're just going to hit, like, three lands in a row or something. It's actually not four cards, right? Five? That's a lot. I think they're going to put a counter on this guy. Shoot, sure. Take two. I mean, we can actually get back Croxa here. Which feels correct, because it gets rid of their last card. We can get back Baleful Strix, too. Do I want to do this? Is this correct? Because it puts this in the graveyard, is really what I'm thinking here. And it puts them in top deck mode. I guess I overpaid. I don't care. And it was just a Spire Bluff Canal. Back Faden. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like it like it works. That's uh that checks out. Oh my god, you're gonna be in there? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well well shoot. Um, this time I'm actually just going to get Baleful Strix back because if we draw like Jace or something we can just play it also oh I guess we could have Croxud no we did not get a Jace that's unfortunate we have Croxud the Necromancy goes to the graveyard and then just exiled Croxa. that could have been good Oh, they untapped their Grim Monolith. That can't be good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine total uh, access to nine total mana. Oh, 38 frames dropped. We have dropped some frames. I wonder if it's because I was saying something. It was like, okay, buddy, you don't appreciate the, uh, the quality of this of this beautiful stream. Yeah, okay, that's fine. What? This is all very strange. Hey, it was a turn late. Interesting. Let's put land, land, Ulamog back. Play a land. Shouldn't have played island there. Uh, no, just 
this guy. Then we can play Kaito Shizuki here. Or we can play Graveyard Trespasser. Actually, I think that's probably better. It protects the Jace a little bit more. Uh, when it renders battlefield, exile a card. A creature card was exiled this way. This game has been going on forever. I feel like it feels like a lifetime. I get an Ulamog and a Signet of the Swamp. Okay. Not the worst. We're at six. I feel like there's got to be a way we can close out this game, right? <laughs> like, I mean, what is he got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're so close to Ulamog, too. If, we only, if only he was still there. Dig through time. So is there a value to like... It's value to like bouncing the hanger back walker. I think so. Because they can't actually pump this. Unless they want to activate. Do I just want to like. No, I don't want to exile that guy yet. It seems bad. This is six damage. Like they can go block here, shoot here. And then we can Crocs, I guess. Seems pretty good. Croxa and Kaito in this turn. Oh, you're going to kill everything. That seems better for us, yeah. Yep, got it. All right. Let's go. Red, black, red, exile, necromancy, and hanger back, Walker. Can we make an unblockable dude? No, let's draw a card. And let's play a land. All right. I mean, I feel like I'm in good shape. They have their Grim Monolith tap. They have five mana and a DAC that hit a Unus Prowler. Sure. Two cards. Time Twister, sure. They have two mana up. I have two Planeswalkers and two creatures. Nice. So 2-0, again, going into that third round. Let's 
see if we can bag the trophy. Uh, well, having both of these guys in the hand is pretty rough. I'm going to keep it. We have four mana. We have all of our colors. We have an Emberus Shield Breaker, which is very, very good. And if we get something like a Dak Faden or an Unus Prowler, like these are no longer downsides. So they're mulliganing to six. <laughs> is this what peak performance looks like? Well, we'll see next turn. Okay, so do we want to get rid of the Mox or the other one? Oh, see, there you go. Now, now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gasoline. You can have all your. We're just gonna. We're just gonna go all in on the pack rat. Send them on down to Rat Train. We did let them keep a lot of mana, though. Oh, yeah. See, I'd rather get rid of that. That's an actual valuable thing that they have now. Oh. That's cool. Hmm. Moochel is doing well. Moochel is working right now. Forgot the second T. Oh, Raw Train. Got it. Got it. Or Rat Rain, which is a much different thing. You guys ever been stuck in a Rat Rain before? I wouldn't recommend it. Man, Affinity is such a mystery. He's here no matter how much time has passed. Rat Rain would be very unsettling. I agree. I agree with you. Oh, they swords dart. Hmm. Fascinating. Sure. Come on, Necromancy. Give me that Necro Daddy. Luna's Prowler, you know, huh? Okay. Well, it's a creature. Okay, well, they have two cards. That's a bingo. Unfortunately, none of these guys actually... This guy's indestructible, right? Yeah, what the hell. Don't respond. Don't do anything. Sometimes you just got a windmill slam, you know? I will hard cast a force of will. Mystic Confluence. Yep, yeah, that's better. Two draws and a counter. Sounds good. You got it. Ah, uh, no. Must be nice. This is always what happens. I literally sweep the first two rounds, and in the last round it's always like, well, they had it all. I 
mean, I'm fine. Two ones is fine, but like, it just, it's very strange how it always seems to go that way. Oh yeah, do them big blocks. That guy is not ideal. You should draw some spells, maybe. A solid strategy. Maybe like a card that can't get countered with a Glenn. Maybe like a... Um, uh, hmm. Well, that's good. Make 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. I guess they're just using that for every construct. That's so lazy, man. Come on. Get put. They don't all look like that. Magic has lore and theming and... Like, Karn does not make creatures that look like this. That's just not how that works. Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's see if they want to counter it. You think they will? Also, if I were them, I... What? We're just going to draw two because I want to get rid of this Woodfall Primus. Fascinating. And this also keeps the deck fading alive if we, if we block. And if we hit one more red or black land, we can Croxa, which is cool. Yep, you got it. I'm surprised you're still alive here. Uh, I will give you an ever-flowing chalice and not a sun titan. So, you got a chalice in hand. We know that. You're just going to play a big-ass chalice, a B-A-C. Two counters? I could just steal that, right? Oh. Oh, my. Well, no, I guess they have the, the thing. I'll tap it in. You didn't tap it in response? What is even happening right now? I bet they get that Sun Titan. Is there a way to save Dak? Hmm. What does makeshift mana can get us? Woodfall Primus? You think they counter that? <laughs> I do. I think they do. But I guess we'll never know. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yep, that's fine. I mean, they can't really get anything other than, like, Arid Mesa with Sun Titan, so it's not super... Why does Mystic Confluence look like this in the graveyard? <laughs> it looks like a token. See it? Like, why does it look like that? Fascinating. Yep. Oh, Damnation would be sick here. But twas an island, the land I don't need. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. We're one. We're one away from a leveler. Interesting. Oh, spells with modes all look like that right now. Sure. Oh. A pastrami sandwich. <laughs> I meant pastrami. Uh, you can have an ancestral vision. <laughs> vision. Just Venser the Gideon. <gasps> Hello. Oh, a Twizzler? Katie just brought me a Twizzler. What a reward. Oh no. Where are you going to go? Babe? Oh, they're activating this guy? Are you winning, son? <laughs> I don't even know. I want to play this venture, though. Did you stream Wasson? No, Wasson wasn't in here. Mmm, it's true. Oh my god. What are you doing in here, little bud? But you ain't seen him. He's, he's fading out. Let's look like back to the future. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Turn off. Okay. Babe, he was out there napping. I would have had to drag him in here. Show him off. His breath smells like birthday cake. Does he does have a weird... No, he does have a weird smell to him, though. Hi, Jimmy. I don't know why he didn't attack there. Oh, that's interesting. You ever cast a Grave Titan, babe? I have once or twice in my life. Interesting. He's a cool fella. So we know they have Sun Titan in hand. Oh, good. They're responding. Mike, the mailman, that was not Wallace. That was Watson. That was Watson. Is Wally in here too? No, I think that was. Oh, wow. You left your son out there, babe. On. He was just waiting at the door. Yeah. He didn't know why he was left outside. I feel like this game is going on forever. This one's Wally. He's also going in and out forever. <laughs> There you go. Push him forward. He just wants to see his mom. Turns out I don't understand Twizzler language. What does that even mean? Twizzlers are my my weakness. <laughs> yeah, one of many. Along with McDonald's cheeseburgers, spaghetti. I am a weak girl. I don't know about all that. I feel like Magic Online is lagging. Does anyone notice this? It feels like everything is like taking a little bit longer to tap and like do things. And I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's just a, how Magic Online works now. Oh, wow. So you're getting rid of four creatures. Oh, you just cast it on the one Grave Titan. Interesting. So I need... We got a swamp here. That's what I would have chosen. Oh wow! I don't even know it's in your deck, but that's what I would have chosen. Well, black cards. Also green cards. It looks like. And also black cards. Yep. And red cards. And, and blue cards. This guy's just to reanimate. He's not getting cast. How long does spend styling his beard? Wally spends about, <laughs> I'd probably say, 
11 minutes a day. That seems like a lot, but I'm no expert. Who's the veterinarian here? Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we're going to go all in. We'll play the land just in case they have something. You cast that swamp. You don't cast lands, babe. You just play them. I know, but it's so easy to make you upset. Mm, cast your mana for the turn. They have one card in hand. I don't think we know what it is. Let's attack Karn. And then we'll exile this shit titan. Goodbye, little sun titan. What's the name of a dog barber? Barbarian? <laughs> That's exactly it. Yes, because the Aryan part in veterinarian is that relates to animals. Which, which dog has stronger sleep stink? What's a sleep stink? Wally has worse farts, but sometimes actual poop falls out of Watson's butt. Hmm. I probably should have attacked with one of these guys, too. That would have been good. And they both smell equally bad. Currently. They're getting groomed on Sunday. Saturday. That's what I meant. I'm just in the middle of a game. They are with their favorite groomer, Derek. Did anyone respond to the stream like magic online seeming slower i don't know if it has to do with daybreak games taking over or if it's just uh yeah see i definitely should have attacked the karn that's it's no bueno oh that's fine I think everybody was too interested in the puppies. Yeah, I'm a little distracted right now. You want me to leave? Yeah, babe, get out of here. All right, I'm going to heat up my spaghetti. I thought we were making pizzas. Fine, we won't, but I have no food. I don't know what to eat then, because... Oh, okay, a pre-dinner. Well, I don't really want to do that either afterwards, so... Uh, let's get rid of Signet... Pilot. Uh, Amber. Is this makeshift mannequin? Sure, get rid of that and this guy. Eat meatball sub. Well, I don't eat meat, so probably not going to eat meatball sub. Attack with... Oh, you can activate your stupid colony now, so that's not the best idea. So we're just lurking. Well, I appreciate you nonetheless. Eat veg ball sub. That's better. Uh, it's definitely been this slow since the very beginning. I'll give you a signet now. Signet makes this guy 5-5. Five, five. Okay. So you have no cards in hand, which is great for us. Uh, he probably could have attacked plenty of times with Colonnade, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on, to be quite honest. Lands, come on, bro. It's every day, bro. One, two, three. 
Oh. Gideon, attack Karn, Karn, and Karn. So they take three. I feel like they're going to block the 6-6 six, six with the 6-6. Six, six. Which is fine. Twitter's finally dead. <laughs> that seems fine to me. Uh, no, no, okay. You did not do the thing I was expecting, which is surprising. But your Karn still dies. Karn's raw. Sheldok's rough. Uh, we can cast whatever we hit, but it's going to take two turns to do anything. Yeah, this game seems over. <sighs> Good grief. Okay. Fascinating. Any chance to come back to stream full time? I'm definitely considering streaming more regularly, uh, if not full time. I don't know. Um, mostly I'm just looking for another game design opportunity. I have a bunch of interviews and applications and things, but I don't want to like rely on that. So streaming is definitely a way to help the in the meantime, you know? God, Colony is a real biscuit. How can I get Woodfall Primus back? I can't? Sounds good. I understand. Are you following me, camera? No. Okay. This is 10. It's a little rough. I kind of want to keep the Lich alive, though. Keep that Lich alive. Oh, are they tapping out of activating Colonnade again? Because that seems good for us. Tefri does not, however, seem good for us. Yeah, that's not great. Nope, and they can still activate. That's brutal. What do you do? Like nothing? Ugh, crying out loud. That's game. All right. Maybe I should just let them play it out, though, because they're much lower on time than we are. Gonna counter this? Yeah, all right. Now my time is more valuable. Okay. I don't have great sideboards for this. I'm just gonna submit.
opponent is it's kind of slow. What a juicer of a game. What up, Unseen Spectre? Still waiting. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, a couple of you noticed the camera. It's really funny. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but clearly. Oh, yeah. Snap this one. This is a snapper. Snapperino. Like everything is really slow to respond. Like I'm moving this like oh, and then it takes like two seconds before it actually drops. It's kind of, I don't know what to attribute it to. I may actually try Magic Online on my laptop and see if it does the same thing there because I don't know why I would do that. See if we can break some shields next turn. It's definitely not time to reformat. I mean, I have a two terabyte hard drive with a six terabyte storage drive, uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, interesting. Game of your end step. You can sacrifice an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, or planeswalker. How about a land? Eh, it's not really worth it though, right? Like I don't I don't think this card is that good. It's a 3-3 body with an ability, which is cool, but like if I sack a land, they're just like, no, I'll not sack a land. You draw a card and take two, and I'll take two. And like that's just not that much pressure. Like the good thing about braids was that like they had to do it. Like the original braids anyway. But now it's like they could just choose not to and you draw a card. Like I guess it makes my I guess it makes my lands now a little more Oh, interesting. I did not think they would have done that. I guess you got a white source and play. Actually, can you play? Yeah. They're going to play Gideon or Karn. Gideon? Wrath of God. Fascinating. Yeah, I feel like this game is not going to go. Let's yield until the next end step. Might want to crack fiery. Hmm. Hmm. I have a, most of my cards in my deck are really cheap, so probably should have done that last turn, I guess. Fascinating. We saw one counter spell and it was Mystic Confluence, I'm pretty sure. Now all of a sudden they have their... Oh, I guess we did see that guy. 
Okay. That's not as bad because we just get it back if we can kill it. So, whatever. I do not remember seeing Days last game. Oh, they discarded it? Okay. That wouldn't, I mean, that wouldn't have been a problem this turn, though. And we did see Spell Queller at the end of the game, so. What do you think? They're going to play, uh, we should have played Mountain, so now they can Mystic Confluence us. Yep. Uh, two counter spells in your deck that actually deal with my cards and you have both of them in your hand. Fantastic. Yep. We could have also prevented them from drawing a second card if we just played our land. So, you know, not the best series of events here, but... Do I have anything that deals with the spell? Thank you! Upgrade. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, you're going to strip mine my... Okay. Well, you're living the dream here. You don't immediately strip mine? Yeah, there you go. Dig through time, huh? Upgrade. Thanks so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. We have one, two, three, four, five. I'd like to hit a land here. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's take Demir Signet and Jace. Or is Triumph just better? Triumph is probably just better, right? Triumph and Jace. Any order, don't care. All right. I'll vote for Carnage. <laughs> it didn't do anything. Oh no. Oh, that would have been great literally last turn. All right. We're going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Really, really appreciate the support. The warm welcome back. That was shockingly loud, and I'm sorry. I have no idea why that was so loud. Thank you guys for hanging out, though. Really appreciate you. I'll see you next time.